Knockout is what the average boxing fan wants to see. Today, let's enjoy another compilation of vivid knockouts. See the concussion of that left, another left right at the eye, Neff's a vicious left hook, he's out right now. Oh, man. See, I, see, I had my hammer there and he caught me. Right there. Got my hand, caught me, so hey. And he had landed some body punches. And it's one o'clock, and, uh, and would you believe the Sunday punch? One o'clock in the morning, Sunday in London, belonged to Lennox Lewis. 5-30-1987. Mike Tyson, TKO6, Pinklin Thomas. Tyson's devastating attack in the sixth round knocked the brave Thomas out. There's another angle of it. Then the left hand at this stage. Pinklin Thomas is all through. You'll see him crumple down to the canvas and punishing left hook, and that's it. At this stage, is the left hand solid. The uppercut sets things up. The left hook, you really see the concussion of that left. Another left right at the eye. Neff's a vicious left hook. He's out right now. From up above, the left hand. Right, not too heavy, but a vicious left hand, and it's all over right here. Pinklin Thomas is gone. 9-20-1996. David Tua, KO1, Darrell Wilson. The Samoan signature left hook sent Wilson into the knockout in the first round. Coming up. Wilson tries a right hand across the top. Tua lands a short left. That left hook. Just watch how he steps back. Boom. See much of anymore, George. Oh, he had to extend it a little bit this time. When he was closer, he couldn't do it, but this guy gave him. See, I, see, I had my hammer there, and he caught me. Right there. Got my hand, caught me. So hey. And he had landed some body punches. Clean as a whistle. That's that was, a left hook, huh? That was a vicious. 10-31-1992. Lennox Lewis, TKO2. Donovan Ruddock. The British Lion dominated the short bout, sending the Canadian into heavy knockdowns three times. After the third fall, the fight was stopped. He's got a right hand to worry about, too. Lewis hurting Ruddock with the left hook. Ruddock in serious trouble as Lewis pounds him. I don't trust the reputation of a man who made it based on losing two fights. Here's the first knockdown. Going after Ruddick, after the first round knockdown, Ruddick was hurt, came out in the second round, trying to look like it. And here is the end of the fight. Ruddick manfully trying to land something to get Lewis off him, but he can't. Oh, look at that right hand. And it's one o'clock, and, uh, and would you believe the Sunday punch? One o'clock in the morning, Sunday in London, belonged to Lennox Lewis. 11-11-2006. Vladimir Klitschko, TKO7, Calvin Brock. Klitschko's classic one-two combo put Brock into a heavy knockdown. A glance into the dazed eyes of the brave American was enough for the referee to signal the end of the fight. But as you saw, referee Wayne Kelly assessing Brock's balance decided that it might be too dangerous to allow him to continue. The stoppage remind you see in how the fight ended. Of course, with the left wide hook, what usually Ken Brock did or still doing, it was actually easy to hit him with the right hand. But it's all about timing, and I should do it in the early rounds, not in the late round. All right. Did you feel any urgency because of the blood coming from your eye? Yes, it was another headbutt, which was my mid- And Wayne Kelly's gonna stop it. A knockout win for Klitschko in the seventh round. Boom! 8-24-1991. Larry Holmes, KO4, Michael Greer. In the fourth round, 
the great Larry Holmes knocked out his opponent with a powerful right hand blow. Some big shots. I guess that's what you get when you get Larry Holmes. Oh, that's right. And there it is. Oh! Just stalking Michael Greer and pounding him with the right. Another right. Just loading up on that right hand. Body shot. Another body shot. And he's going to hit him with the overhand right. And then one for good measure coming up right there. And down one, Michael Greer. As we take a look, and he won't, don't have dinner with Larry tonight. There's the right that got through. Michael Greer stopped punching and then went face down. Stalking Michael Greer and pounding him with the right. Another right. Just loading up on that right hand. Body shot. Another body shot. And he's going to hit him with the overhand right. And then one for good measure coming up right there. And down one, Michael Greer. As we take a look, and he won. Number six, 422-1992. Frank Bruno, KO2, Jose Ribalta. Bruno's fierce combination from the imposing heavyweight ended the match in the second round. time it was different what a thundering right hand that was that came from way back and he had no defense against him and from this moment he threatened to come toppling over the top rope right above me and I expected six and a half feet of Cuban right over our heads big right hand this is a thundering right and almost no man in the world would survive that it's the sort of punch that disturbed Tyson when Frank hit him he had him going here, and Frank didn't let him off the hook. Number 7, 330-1997. James Buster Douglas, KO6, Brian Scott. Douglas, the veteran, dominated the entire fight, forcing Scott to taste the canvas in the fifth round. In the sixth minute, James knocked out his opponent. And with the 32nd mark, we go. That was a slip. He landed a non-knockdown. You'll see the leg of Scott get tangled with it. He's wobbling now, Tim. He's wobbling. He's got him down. A right and a left from Douglas sends him to the... Douglas looks like a master in there right now. Now that time he just fell. First knockdown. He told the referee he was fine after this one. Well, he got set up with that good left jab again by Douglas. Right hand, left hook. And there's that left jab again. Douglas really is an excellent technician, well-schooled fighter. And that's where you can see the just and that one was ruled not a knockdown, but there's the the knock the first legitimate knockdown. So Buster Douglas, who won. Number eight, 12, 5, 1987. Evander Holyfield, KO4, Dwight Muhammad Kawi. In the rematch, Holyfield asserted his superiority from the beginning, dominating the fight. The match ended in the fourth round after two knockdowns of veteran Kawi. Versus Ocasio, all told defended by beating Ocasio. Pulls up without having that much impact. It is there, but it's not there when you go punch. A fire plug, a squat walk-in banger third round I think this is the best round he had thus far he got Holyfield to commit to those little wars that he likes and that fight Holyfield ran out of gas oh Kawit. now Kawi trying to storm back a wild missed and he goes to knock down in round four this one set Kawi reeling to the seat of his pants he got up quickly 
Number 9. 625-1998. Lou Savarisi KO1, James Buster Douglas. The amiable giant Savarisi didn't show mercy in the fight against the famous ring veteran Douglas, finishing the match in the first round. The fight ended after the third heavy fall of the former undisputed world champion. <laughs> Ну что остается делать Саваризу, когда Бастер Даглас опускает не только предплечье, но даже и плечо вниз. Смотрите. Это уже второй удар. Ну а тут, конечно, вот этот вот левый удар, когда проскочил левый крюк в челюсть. Number 10, David Izan KO4 Darrell Wilson. The bout between two knockout artists was extremely dramatic. Izan experienced a knockdown in the first round, but managed to survive until the bell. In the fourth round, a powerful left hook from the Nigerian sent Wilson into a heavy knockout. Circumstances. Terrence Lewis. But Jefferson isn't one of those guys, although Jefferson goes. Referee has been looking at. Jefferson does well, but then he seems to tie, and Izan gets him one. That's why he didn't stop it early on. And this time is stay out of the hooking match. And Jefferson goes down from Jefferson needs to stand up seven more seconds to make it out of the round. Izan knocks his mouthpiece out, and the bell saves Jefferson at the end of the round as he lands a shot on Mercanti Jr. Critical, but... All right, now you're going to see that Jefferson actually went down from exha exhaustion. It was a, a light tap with the right hand. Meanwhile, you heard Jefferson's corner tell him he's got one round to go. And of course, he's got two. And Mercanti stops. 